So now we're going to take a look at tangent lines of polar equations. And so in each of these exercises, we're supposed to calculate the derivative and find the equation of the tangent and normal lines to the curve at the indicated value of theta. Now, we're, we're basically doing the same thing. Uh, whenever you want the equation of a tangent line, you're always just simply doing slope point form. I'm going to be doing y minus y naught equals m x minus x naught. It's just this time we have to translate all the information they give us into the point and the slope. Okay, so to take the derivative of, of a polar equation, what I try to remember is that um, uh, when you want to do it in terms of r as a function of theta, there's a formula for dy dx in terms of r and theta, but I, I want to show you how I remember it. I remember it as the parameterization that uh, x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. And remember, when we do parameterizations, we can simply do that uh, dy dx is given by dy d theta over dx d theta. Okay. Now, what is dy d theta? Well, we th if, if r is a function of, well, in, in this case, what we're going to do is say y is r sine theta. And so that's just equal, if r is equal to 1, that's just equal to sine theta. And this is just equal to cosine theta. So in this case, dy d theta is the derivative of sine, which is cosine theta. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine theta. Okay, And so this is basically just like parametric equations. This is our derivative in terms of the parameter theta. Okay, So um, now when I evaluate this at theta equals pi over 4, which is the point that which we're interested in, that's cosine of pi over 4, which is root 2 over 2 divided by the sine negative sine pi over 4, which is negative root 2 over 2. And that's equal to negative 1. So the slope is negative 1. Now, what is the point equal to? Well, we use the, our, our, this, these equations to compute the point. The x is equal to 1 times cosine pi over 4. That's equal to root 2 over 2. And y is equal to r times sine theta pi over 4. And that's equal to root 2 over 2. So our point is root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. And then now we use our point slope form. y minus root 2 over 2 is equal to negative 1 times x minus root 2 over 2. And if you kind of convert this, I get y minus root 2 over 2 is equal to negative x plus root 2 over 2. And I can bring this to the other side. I get y is equal to negative x plus 2 times 2 root 2 is just root 2. Let's do the same thing here. x is equal to r cosine theta. And in this case, r is equal to 1 plus sine theta cosine theta. And y is equal to r sine theta. And that's equal to 1 plus sine theta uh, sine theta. And then we're going to do dx d theta, right? Because dy dx is given by dy d theta divided by dx d theta. dx d theta is just given by the derivative of this. Here we're going to do a product rule. We're going to do 1 plus sine theta. It's the derivative of cosine is negative sine theta. Plus the derivative of 1 plus sine theta is cosine theta sine theta. And then dy d theta is given by 1 plus sine theta times cosine theta the derivative of sine plus the derivative of this, which is cosine theta times sine theta. Okay, so then this derivative is equal to um, this thing. I can factor out a uh, sorry, the y goes on top. I can factor out a cosine theta, and I get one plus sine theta plus sine theta. That's one plus two sine theta divided by this one. I can factor out a what sine theta. And I would get a cosine theta minus minus sine theta minus 1. Okay, and then we're going to evaluate this at theta equals pi over 4. So cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. This is 1 plus 2 root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2 root 2 over 2 minus root 2 over 2 minus 1. And so um, let's see, this is, um, these will cancel. 
I can multiply through by, well, these two will cancel. So I just have a negative one here. So dividing by negative one just makes it negative. Negative one minus root two is our slope. So that's our slope. And then um, now we need our point. So x is equal to our cosine data. Because, oh, actually, um, yeah, for, for tangent lines, I think on the previous problem I forgot to do the normal line. So I'll do the, the tangent and the normal line here. Um, r cosine data, r is um, 1 plus sine of pi over 4, which is root 2 over 2, times cosine of theta, which is root 2 over 2. And that's equal to root 2 over 2 plus 1 half. And then y is equal to 1 plus, is equal to r sine theta. r is 1 over root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, same, same value. And so for the tangent line, we're going to do y minus root 2 over 2 plus 1 half is equal to um, negative 1 minus root 2, x minus root 2 over 2 um, plus 1 half. And then you could, I'm not going to simplify that, but you certainly could if you wanted to. The normal line is the exact same expression, except we change the slope to be the negative reciprocal, root 2 over 2 plus 1 half is equal to, uh, a negative would make this all positive, 1 over 1 plus root 2 times x minus root 2 over 2 plus 1 half. Okay. And then you can use whatever algebra you want to sort of simplify this. You might be able to simplify, like sometimes we don't like the slope like this, so we can convert that into by multiplying by the conjugate. That becomes one minus root two over, this is one minus two, negative one, so that becomes root two minus one. So you could put root two minus one into this spot right here if you wanted to be um, uh, negative reciprocal, or, or you know, to rationalize the denominator. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I go through a lot more of these exact kinds of problems with much longer videos uh, on my website. It's entirely free. Check out the link in the description below.